When she died, she asked Jesus about his return. The answer is astounding. Back in the early 1990s, when she was a college student living in the dorms and enjoying a lively social scene, she had a brush with death. After a night of partying with friends, she got separated from the group. Feeling pretty drunk, she stepped outside to get some air when she suddenly felt really hot. When she went back to the bar, her friends were gone, thinking she had moved on to the next spot. After wandering around the club for about 20 minutes, she decided to head back to the dorms. But then things started getting blurry. She vaguely remembered sitting on a bus stop bench for a moment to rest. Then she passed out and woke up to see herself lying on the bench. Weirdly, she didn't freak out. Instead, she felt detached and strangely free, not wanting to go back to her body. Suddenly, her senses expanded. She could see everything around her in every direction without effort, and distant things seemed close. A tunnel appeared behind her, hovering about 15 feet up, and she felt compelled to go through it. At first, she floated gently, but then she sped up, feeling all sorts of strange sensations as she traveled through the tunnel. Time didn't seem to matter as she left Earth's atmosphere and traveled through space. After a while, time felt kind of fuzzy, she saw a light in the distance that grew bigger as she got closer. Like others who've had near-death experiences, she felt overwhelming love when she reached the light. It's hard to describe to those who haven't felt it, but it's like being hugged by the whole universe, filling every part of you with warmth. Lost in this feeling, she saw a man coming towards her. He wore a white robe and had a beautiful smile. They communicated without speaking, straight into her mind. I've been waiting for you, he said. Really, she replied, using the same mind-to-mind -mind way. Yes, really, he said, then added, and just so do you know, you might recognize me as Jesus, but I'm known by many names. You're here because you're at a crucial point in your life. The choices you make soon will shape your future. With curiosity driving her, she pondered the options presented before her. You stand at a crossroads. I'll unveil two potential paths, yet your ultimate choice remains within the realm of your own free will, explained Jesus. Extending his hand, he touched her forehead, transporting her into a scene at a doctor's office. In one scenario, she witnessed herself older, facing the consequences of heavy drinking in her youth. Another vision showed her making a positive impact as a social worker. Confused yet intrigued, she asked, why am I seeing these outcomes? What sets me apart? In every puzzle, numerous pieces must align in a specific order for the full picture to emerge, replied Jesus. He drew parallels with the alignment of stars necessary for life on Earth. Your role may not be clear, but you were chosen to witness. Return and fulfill your purpose. Before returning to Earth, she hesitated. When will you return? she asked. Only my father holds that knowledge, replied Jesus. As she journeyed back, she hesitated, drawn by the light. Yet, a force compelled her into her body. Awakening, she questioned the reality of her encounter. Sharing it with her parents and church only led to rejection. Despite the backlash, she transformed her life, abandoning old habits and pursuing a new path. She embarked on life's journey, facing and conquering challenges along the way. Graduating proudly, she settled in a bustling city in the heart of the United States, finding purpose as a social worker, helping at-risk youth. In her complex life, she wondered about her place in the universe. Yet, she believed she was a small part of a larger picture, contributing to humanity's story. Each day brought new experiences as she worked to guide vulnerable youngsters, inspired by her own mentors. Despite doubts, she persisted with determination, believing her actions mattered. She saw at-risk youth as potential leaders, capable of shaping their destinies. She found comfort in the idea that one of the young people she helped might shape her own future. Uncertainty drove her commitment, turning challenges into opportunities. For those seeking more heartfelt stories and reflections, she invites you to join her journey. Here's to uncovering more extraordinary chapters together.